Hello. Uh, today we are doing simultaneous linear equation of class 9 mathematics. And uh, you know that simultaneous means together. So here in this chapter you will get the two equations which we have to solve together. So that means pair of equations can be solved in three different methods. One is your substitution, one is your elimination and the third one is your cross multiplication method. Okay, as for the question we have to solve, if nothing is mentioned in the question, you can solve with any method which you find easier. We will do the first method, substitution method. Okay, so <coughs> example here 4x minus 3y is equals to 8 and 2x minus 2y is equals to minus 3. We will take this as equation 1, we will take this as equation 2. Now, first we have to find the value of one variable. So, if you see here and here, this one is quite easier. So, to find the value, so we will write from equation 2. So, we can take any equation. So, this only x is here, it does not have any other coefficient except that the 1. So, we we'll take this here x minus 2y is equals to minus 3 or we can write x is equals to minus 3 plus y therefore we can write x is equals to 2y minus 3 okay now substituting substituting the value of x in equation 1 we get if you substitute here first we write the equation 4x minus 3y is equals to 8 this is your equation 1 or 4x is a 2y minus 3 minus 3y is equals to 8 or we'll write here 4 to our 8y plus into minus minus 3 4 are 12 minus 3y is equals to 8 or we can write here 8y minus 3y it will be a 5y is equals to 8 minus it will go here plus 12 or we can write 5y is equals to 20 so we can write here 5 1 are 5 5 4 are 20 therefore y is equals to 4 okay so now we got the value of y now we have to get the value of x also suppose if we take this as equation 3 then we can write from equation 3 we will get here x is equals to 2y minus 3 so we already have the <coughs> value of y so we will write here or uh, x is equals to 2 y we have got 4 so replace the value of y substitute for 3 or x is equals to how much here 2 4 are 8 minus 3 therefore x is equals to 5 so we got the value hence we got the value here therefore x is equals to 5 and y is equals to 4 this is our answer clear <coughs> So, for practice, I have given three sums, okay, which you can pause the video and copy these questions and you can solve these sums. The second method is elimination method. So, I have given one example, x plus 2y is equal to 5 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 3. So, I keep this as equation 1, this as equation 2. So, here this we have to eliminate. So, first we have to find, see this variables here the variables here is 1 here is 2 so that means here is 1x here is 2x we have to make this or this equal here both has the number so this is easier so in order to make this two same with what number we have to multiply equation 1 2 if you multiply this with 2 it will become 2x here also we have 2x so if you multiply with 2 here we have to multiply all the terms with 2 here, in order to make this equal, we will multiply with 1. 2 into x, 2x plus 2 to r, 4y is equal to 2, 5 r, 10. Okay? 
then we will do here <coughs> 2 1 are 2 x 1 3 are 3 y is equals to 3 now we have to add here so if this is positive we have to make this sign negative here this is negative minus we will make this sign plus and this plus we will make this sign minus now when we do this addition we will see we will not ignore these signs we will see the signs which is written at the last for this second equation okay so both are plus and minus it will get cancelled here plus 4 plus 3 it will become 7 y is equals to 10 minus 3 is become 7 so we will cancel 7 1 are 7 7 1 are 7 we got the value of y therefore y is equals to 1 now we will do here substituting substituting the value of y in equation 1 we get first we write the equation 1 equation 1 is here x plus 2y equals to 5 so here also either of the equation we can substitute the value okay whatever value we get this is your equation 1 so or we will write here x is here plus 2 y we already got y is here 1 is equals to 5 or x plus 2 equals to 5 or x equals to 5 this will take other side minus 2 therefore x is equals to 3 so then we can write x is equals to 3 y is equals to 1 so now we solve the pair of equation okay by the elimination method here are the sounds for the practice for elimination method okay here also here uh, first one is fine second one 2x equals to 5y plus 4 first this you have to convert into equation 2x this y will go other side so it will become minus 5y plus sorry y is equals to this 4 will write this will become equation 1 and here in order to make the equation 2 we will do the same way 3x minus 2y equals to this will go other side minus 16 this will become equation 2 okay here also in order to solve this first take the LCM in this 2 okay then you do so I'll just show you one here x minus 2 by 3 y is equals to 8 by 3 first what I'll do here I'll take the LCM of this 2 he has 1 3 is the LCM 3 into x 3x minus 2y okay is equals to 8 upon 3 so the threes are same we will cancel this 3 okay so then we we'll write here this will be a 3x minus 2y is equals to 8 this is your equation 1 similarly we will do for the equation 2 so once we get the equation 1 and equation 2 then only we will solve this questions now the next is your cross multiplication method this is a third method so here also I have the equations pair of equation this is a equation 1 this is a equation 2 so when we do the cross multiplication method first we'll take all this number this side all these uh, terms we equate with 0 okay first we we'll equate the terms with 0 so we we'll write here 2x plus y this will become come this side minus 5 is equal to 0 now this is your equation 1 changes to this and 3x plus 2y minus 8 equals to 0 now third method is a cross multiplication method I have the equations so first uh, in cross multiplication method what we have to do we have to equate these terms with 0 Okay, first one, I'll write this as uh, 2x plus y, it, 5 will come this way, minus 5 is equals to 0. Okay, this will become 1, equation 1, equation 2, equation 1 changes to this. And 3x plus 2y, okay, 
y minus a equals to 0 here. This is your equation 2. So in the cross multiplication, what we'll do? We'll try to find the coefficient of x here. Coefficient of x, coefficient of y is nothing means we can take as 1. The coefficient of 5, okay, 1, the 5 into 1 we have there 5 and the 8 we have to take here with the signs. Okay, if nothing is here, we consider this as 1. Okay, now first we write the coefficient. When we write the coefficient, first we write for the y. Okay, what we have the y here, we write here. At the side we can write here, or here also we can write here. 1, then we'll write 2, 1, 2. This is here, minus 5, minus 8. Then we'll write here this one. 2 and 3. Then again we'll write here. 1, 2. Okay. So, <clears throat> again I explain here. First, we'll write here the coefficient of x, y and the 1. So, first we'll write for the y. Okay. First, we'll write, we start with y. y is here 1, is here 2, only the numerical numbers, minus 5, minus 8. Again, we'll come back here, 2, 3 and then again, continuation, 1, 2. Okay. After writing this, therefore, we can write here x upon, so x upon what we'll write here? Multiply this, 1 into 8, 1 into minus 8, and the sign will be minus here, then we'll multiply this here, 2 into 5, 2 into minus 5, okay? In the middle, the sign has to be minus equals to then if you write for the y when we write for the y these two will take into consideration here minus 5 into 3 minus 5 sorry <coughs> minus 5 into 3 minus this is here minus 8 into 2 can you write like this minus 8 into 2 here okay and this is last we write 1 upon okay so, since we are writing the coefficient of x, y and 1, 1 upon, okay, 2 into 2, 4, uh, I'll be like 2 into 2 minus 3 into 1, okay, this way we'll write here, okay. So, when we write for the x, we'll write the first one, 1 into minus 8 minus 2 into minus 5 and when we write for the y, minus 5 into 3 minus 8 into 2 Okay, and this is your 2 into 2 minus 3 into 1. Clear? Okay, so <clears throat> now the simple we'll do here. Next is here. We'll just write the, <clears throat> solve the form simple. Minus 1 into 8, minus 8, minus into minus, plus 2, 5 are 10. Clear? It's equals to y upon 5, 3 are 15, but plus into minus, minus minus and minus plus 8 to r 16 here here we'll get 1 upon 2 to r 4 3 1 r 3 or we'll get here x upon 2 is equals to y upon 1 is equals to 1 upon 1 okay now we have this uh, once we come to this point then what we'll do here after coming this point, so then we'll equate first x with 1, okay? So we can write here, now x upon 2 is equal to 1 upon 1. Can we write like this way? So cross multiply here, x1 r x, therefore x is equal to 2 1 r 2. We'll get this. And here, next we'll do y upon 1 is equal to 1 upon 1, therefore y is equal to 1, 1, R, 1. Okay, now this way we got the value of x and the y. Therefore, we can write x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. <coughs> this is how we solve this by cross multiplication method. Here are a few sums for the practice for the cross multiplication.